All right, you guys, I am headed off to the airport with Uncle Brandon. He's on his way to pick me up right now. We are headed to a place called Cedar Rapids. From Cedar Rapids, we are meeting Jared. We are meeting Michelle. We are meeting Sean. From there, we are driving two hours all the way to Nauvoo to then surprise my parents this evening. They have no idea what's happening. Sean, luckily, has Find My Friends on his phone. Therefore, he's tracking my parents and knows exactly where they're gonna be. So we are headed off to the airport. Then, on Monday, we are all, except for my parents, going to drive to Chicago, which is four hours away, where everyone else will fly back to Utah. I will remain in Chicago for my opinion meetings. And then on Thursday, I will fly from Chicago to Miami for another meeting that's only six hours long in, in Miami. Then that evening, Lindsay and the entire family are gonna meet me in Miami, where we're gonna party hard with Jared and Britt for the next like eight days. Party, 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 party. So, a lot going on. I'm leaving today. I'm not coming back for more than two weeks. Today is August 28th, and I do not get back until September 12th. So, giving the kids the hug, giving the wife the hugs, and well, here we go. Live it on the road. <laughs> yeah! So Love much you guys. fun. Okay, Love see you. you guys. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you, babe. Thank you. Love you. Bye, Annabelle. Brandon's wearing a fanny bag. Do you have a lip balm or a band aid, please? Wait, sorry, did you ask for lip balm? <laughs> <laughs> Justin took off with his brother for the big surprise. It's going to be the most amazing day. So he's gonna be videoing that whole adventure. I am on a much less exciting, but beautiful adventure with our friend from Arizona. Say hi guys. Hi. This is Melissa and Mackenzie. They are our house guests that we were telling you guys about the other day, taking them on a beautiful hike. You guys have actually seen us do this hike before. It's called Primrose Overlook. We did it once with Brandon and Mindy's family, both of our whole families. And then I also took my sister on this hike for her 30th birthday. It is one of my favorite hikes. They're from Arizona and I just thought if they're gonna see beautiful Utah, I've gotta take them on this hike. So it's actually turned out to be quite the adventure so far. When we got to the base of the trailhead, there's a little boy that was lost. He's been camping and he doesn't know where his campsite is. So there's a group of people down there trying to help him find his parents. And then as we walked up the trail, we found out that there's search and rescue up here because there are parents that are still missing that were on this trail. They found the children, but haven't found the parents. I think a totally separate thing from at the base of the trailhead. So it's kind of off to a crazy start. We've heard that you can see bears and moose on this trail. We're just praying we don't see either one. But I gave Mackenzie the assignment to uh, figure out what we're supposed to do if we find one. What are we supposed to do again? Talk home and walk away. Talk calmly and walk away. I can do that. Unfortunately, I have a lot of experience in that area. Or Except bring dryer sheets. Or bring dryer sheets, which I didn't have any. So I might panic and run and they're gonna remind me to stay calm. <laughs> Day 
made it to the top. We are officially on top of the world. These views never get old. So gorgeous, a little smokier than usual, but still breathtakingly beautiful. We actually were walking up here with some friends and found out that they had a little encounter with a coyote. No bears, no moose, but a coyote, and they said it was going crazy. They were a little nervous for a minute, but eventually the coyote just ran away. So we haven't heard any update on search and rescue. One of the other hikers, once we got service up here, called 911 and let them know about the little boy at the bottom of this trail, hoping that they find that other couple. It's so scary. back from our hike. I am just getting to Ashton soccer game and Justin just sent me a picture of him and everyone but Jared on the same flight. We've got Brandon, Sean, and Justin, and Michelle all on the same flight. Jared's flying from Florida. I still can't believe they pulled this off. I cannot wait to see the look on Papa and Grandma's faces when they open their front door and all five of their kids are standing there. This has got to be the best surprise in a really long time and I just can't believe they pulled it off. This was planned just a couple of days ago. So many people had to move so many different things, move mountains to make this happen. And one by one, those flights just started to book. And then they, here they are. They are all together. Such a special trip, so excited for them. Can't wait to see the details. I'll be watching the adventures on the videos just like you guys can not wait. I know it's going to be a long flight out there. I think they have a connection. Then once they get to the airport, it's about a two hour drive to Nauvoo. So they probably won't be surprising them until later in the evening tonight, but I cannot wait. In the meantime, we're going to go watch Ash play some soccer. played incredible. Like I was literally so good. I There was a guy twice as big as me and I would just shove him over and then do the perfect cross. So. Over and over he would kick the perfect cross. He would set the ball up perfectly for someone to just kick it right in the goal. And there was one of the other son's dad who was coaching me to help me. He's like, get wide, get wide. So he was helping me a lot. That's awesome. So we're gonna go in there and get a cold drink for this boy right now and for his best brother in the back who was cheering him on the whole time. Oh yeah. yes. Oh yeah. Alright you guys, this is official, we have made it to Cedar Rapids. New guy! <laughs> Welcome home, Jared. You ready to go <laughs> onto the ranch? The only way to really save this child is to send her off to the ranch. stop here at the local place. It's actually indigenous to this area called Arby's. We are an hour away.
Oh my gosh, that's sister yeah. missionary. She's gonna she's know a sister me. Missionary. Oh my gosh, that's sister missionary. There's a white missionary. car driving. It's not theirs. It's For real? Theirs. Yeah, but where did they theirs. drive? Guys, we've they arrived to Nauvoo. Yeah. We have found out the parents are at dinner. We are not entirely sure where at dinner. Oh, We're approaching their home. Like, We're thinking about sneaking into the house, maybe. In the court case, we rolled up on their house. They're at dinner right now with some friends, so we're gonna take off. And Sean has asked them to call him back when they get out of dinner. That way we can figure out where they are. I don't know. Should we just go check in at our house and then? Yeah, let's get out of here. I'm keeping my mask on in case you run into us. I know. We're trying to get <laughs> incognito. Okay. All right, you guys, we have made it to our beautiful Airbnb. It reminds me of our grandparents' house growing up. We have not yet gone over to our parents' house to surprise them. They're at dinner. We're gonna check into our Airbnb here real quick. Oh, got a stray cat on our Airbnb. All right, you guys, this might be one of the best Airbnbs. We are completely wireless here at Shrewd Farms. But as soon as I find out where Moe's hit all the wires, we'll get that power back on. Alrighty. Guys, this is bringing you back to Grandma and Grandpa uh, Hunsaker's house. Uh, dude, it's like we've gone back in time and smells. <laughs> Aesthetic. <laughs> Everything. If you're into uh, scary movies, you can go check out upstairs. I'd say one in six. What? Well, I thought you asked me what our chances were of being murdered during that. New guy! Definitely too tall for this. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> oh, this place is amazing. Are you kidding me? There's your closet right there. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> Heading over to surprise the parents. Yay! Can't see anybody. <laughs> surprise! Mom can't walk, guys. Somebody hold her. Somebody hold her. She can't stand up. <laughs> I was trying to act like I didn't even know you were talking. I'm like, can you get us a Zoom link? We're here to see a fair wire off my talk, man. Oh, we are here to see Guys, we have made it. We've arrived. We're surprised. So, guys, were you surprised? Oh, my gosh. I was shocked. Did you have any idea? None. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we are here for the weekend. We're going to watch their talk at church on Sunday tomorrow. Hopefully. We'll leave on Monday. Hopefully they're going to let us in the building. We don't know. Pretty rowdy group here. <laughs> you two are not welcome. <laughs> but we're here. We surprise them. Mon and Papa, welcome back to the vlog. Yeah! 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 And we love you. Oh my gosh. Best family ever. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, so for those of you guys that are wondering what happens in the evening times for people that upload videos to YouTube, well, this is what we looks do, guys. Looks a little bit like this. Yeah, looks a little bit like this. This is the vlog life over here. So guys, <laughs> we are wrapping up the evening here in our Airbnb. Surprise mom and dad. I don't think there could have been a more epic response from our sweet dear parents to see my dad's face in utter shock. <laughs> and then sweet mom fall to her knees in tears was the exact reaction I think we were all expecting and really what we are going for. So mom and dad, we love you guys so very much. We are so grateful to be here. We're excited for you to show off Nauvoo to us tomorrow morning and listen to your last talk that you will give in church before you come back to Utah. All right, we are headed to bed tonight. Turbo's still at a pool party, so I'm waiting up for him, but these three are going to bed. They just had an epic dance party for our house guests. Show them their very best dance moves. We're making some peach pie, some homemade bolognese sauce and garlic bread for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> Ava's still dancing. We heard that the surprise in Nauvoo was incredible. Incredible. They said their reaction was absolutely priceless. By the time this video comes out, we will all have seen the clip, but we can't wait to see it. We haven't seen it yet. We've just heard about it. Anyway, hope that you enjoyed their big secret that they've been keeping, their big journey out to Nauvoo. And stay tuned for some more fun in the next couple of days, in the next couple of vlogs. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe down below. Turn on notifications so you know when we post. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes. Bye! Bye. See you tomorrow.